say a couple people know it. Look, like this, like this. This say twist the wrist, twist the wrist, twist the wrist, twist the wrist, twist the wrist. Twist the elbow, twist the wrist. Drop the elbow, twist the wrist. Now, for real good, you can do two hands like this, come on up, come on. Everybody, get on with you Okay? Work to the beat, work, work to the beat. Watch with me. The choice winner. Yeah. Watch with me. Earl playing, y'all. Walk with me. Do the choice in. Uh huh. Yo, this in the streets of Philly, the pound pavement. On the kick and letter with my feet and let the store the ground playing. And these heavy heavy beats will be the sound of rain. You know the destination that we go to is the town pavement. I'm walking as a head home, walking in my head home. From my head, my fears turn around. What does it mean for you guys to play an event like this, the Metro Times Blowout? Um, I think to be part of the Metro Times Blowout is just uh, showing a unity throughout the Detroit scene across genres. Um, you know, I like to see um, more and more diversity as the as the festival evolves to show more and more genres that represent the city's um, musical legacy. And it's an honor to be part of that musical legacy and just continue to build that um, to build on that long history that we have here in the city. <laughs> Possessive, so I'm self-defense, I raise my fist. Right shoe, 
Yeah, they hear the truth. Look at you, these mother wounds. We woke up in the town like we told you, go on long and greedy. Even though you know you need me, no pretending we go to bed. Killing in my name, I get to blame the go to bed. It's so much arrogance and embarrassment. See a terrorist for your paranoia of terrorists. Terrorize and analyze applause in your character. Do you really love me or just lust for power, America? Give it up for Diana Marcello, y'all. Come on. Diana Marcello. That's what's up. I know that you've been around the Detroit scene a while, playing from you know St. Andy's to the Majestic, all over the place. What what is playing an event like the Blowout different from playing like all these venues out here? Playing the Blowout is really a lot more of um, I would say like a grassroots approach because Hamtramck is so small because it has you know the most bars per capita in the country or whatever the case. It just gives it a different feel. Like we're in the spot, it looks like somebody's um, homecoming dance ballroom or whatever and you know but we but we made it feel like I said like we were you know in a stadium um, venue and so to, to have that grassroots feel like all these hole in the wall bars me and Miss Corona actually rocked at the blowout years ago maybe like six seven years ago in one of these tiny little hole in the wall bars on, on Joe Campo and you know it's just cool to, to evolve you know from doing one of those smaller gigs to, to be one of the headliners this year and still continuing to be part of um, nurturing our ongoing uh, musical community and and just show that a lot of cats who came up through the blowout are gonna eventually make that worldwide impact. Now let me tell you, it might not have been a homecoming dance, but you guys had me dancing like I was in high school out there. For real, and you had the whole crowd, and that's why I like, you know, you did the, the back and forth with it, and you really come out there with a lot of energy. Now playing, like, you know, playing this crowd, you know, it's a, it's a different group. It's not necessarily people that are coming to see you. So how, what do you do when you come out here and you see these people that aren't necessarily here to see you? Hey, that's, that's the best thing for me to see new faces in the crowd, you know, I mean, I love being part of the hip hop community, you know, big up to 5e e Gallery, St. Andrews and all the venues that support the hip hop community, Oslo's, but you know, it's also great to, to reach other crowds, uh, people who are into other genres and show that we're unified because we're all part of this city and because we're all part of making the city better through the music, through whatever it is that our strength is and, you know, our talent, our gift that we happen to be bringing is, you know, our gift and talents through this music. But what what could the people of Detroit do more to support our artists? Man, I'll let Miss Corona answer that one. <laughs> I just think that um what what Detroit can do more to support the artists is is basically what you said, support the artists, not just saying, Oh, that's my homegirl. You know what I mean? Like it, it, as big as this venue is, it was packed, but it should have been wall to wall. You know what I mean? When you have such a great artist like Invincible, you know, bag with a great band like this, it just should have been like I don't know. I think she should have headlined the whole uh, blowout to me. <laughs> That's what I think. But just in general, the whole blowout, you know, and just any event we have locally, you know, should definitely have more people coming out to support. And everybody's broke. Everybody's struggling. Detroit is, is always in, um, affected by a constant, you know, recession, if you want to call it that. Um, but um, despite that, you know, our greatest hope is our creativity. Our greatest hope is our musical community, our, you know, artists. And I think that... Um, people coming out to shows or supporting whether it be um, spreading the word or buying it when they do got the loot even if you downloaded it first buy it when you do get the loot a couple months later you, you feel me and um 
just in general, um, developing your own strength so that you could contribute to it. You know, you're, you developed your strength to be an interviewer and to create this media highlights on what we're doing. Some cats just sit at home and be armchair critics, hating on people and, and just, you know, perpetuating that crabs in a barrel mentality instead of really taking a stand and showing how they can improve the scene, improve one another, and create opportunities for more and more people to really take everything to the next plateau and continue to set precedence internationally, which is what Detroit continues to do in music and other forums. <laughs>
It's the Metro Towns blowout, fool. 